things the Lord is with you. The angel Gabriel visited The angel came to Mary. The angel Gabriel visited Mary and said, Greetings! You are blessed because you will be having a baby in your tummy and you shall name him Jesus. Jesus. Name Jesus. He will be the, he will be called the Son of the Most High and the Lord will give him the throne of his father David. He will reign over Jacob's descendants forever, and his kingdom will never end. She was shocked. Like what? <laughs> and Mary said, How can this be? I am a virgin. And the angel said, The Holy Spirit will be with you. And Mary said, I am the Lord's servant. One day, Mary went to Judea to visit her cousin Elizabeth because the angel told her she was also getting a baby. When Mary arrived at the house of Ze Zechariah and Elizabeth, Mary went to visit her cousin and they were very excited to see each other as if for example, for us during quarantine, when she's your friend, you'll be like, oh, Hi, I've missed you so much! Congratulations! And uh, once, and Elizabeth was pregnant also at that time, like the same as Mary and... Uh, Hi, Elizabeth! Long time no see! Elizabeth replied, Hi, Mary. When my baby heard your voice, the baby in my tummy kicked for joy. That, that she's blessed, that she, she is, gets to see the mother of the Lord. Um, Mary was supposed to be married to Joseph, but before they were even married, uh, Joseph found out that Mary was pregnant. First, he was afraid. One night, an angel comes to Joseph in a dream. The angel said, Don't be afraid to have Mary as your wife. The baby in her tummy is, is from the Holy Spirit. Name him, name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. This baby is gonna change the world. And then uh, he believed in the angel and obeyed. One day the news comes that the Roman Emperor wants to have a census. Everyone must go to his hometown to be counted. So Mary and Joseph traveled to Bethlehem. The baby was coming soon. There was no room. People who were at the inns all said that there was not enough space. Uh, and they got to one place where the owner said that there wasn't space inside, but there was a stable where they could stay. And Mary and Joseph agreed. And when they got to the stable, then Jesus was, that's when Jesus was born and they wrapped him around and with swaddling clothes and put him in a manger. So the, so the angel appeared 
but the shepherds were afraid. But the angel told us not to fear, for he brings good news. A Savior is born in Bethlehem. He is Christ the Lord. He is wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. The angel, when the when the shepherds saw the angels, they bowed down. Then, Lord was was born in the earth. And then they, and then the soldier, and then the shepherds went to Bethlehem. So, and then they. They saw the baby Jesus in the manger, and they were happy at those things and singing. Actually, the beginning of the story of the wise men is that Herod, um, after he knew that Jesus was born, um, he called the wise men and he um, told them, go and search for the diligent and young child who is claimed to be the son of God and that you can also worship him. That's what Herod said. And after the wise men heard that, obviously they, you know, went their way to see Jesus. The wise men followed the star to find Jesus. They visited Jesus around when he was um, few months old already, not exactly after the shepherds, but he, um, the wise men came after a few months to see Jesus and bring him gifts. Presents of gold, frankincense, and the mark. Glory to the Uber King.